Hi friends and welcome back to another haul video. This video is from an estate sale that I went to and not I only went once but I went twice. Went back the next day because it had so much ephemera, ephemera, ephemera. I'm sitting out here on my front porch so one as you heard back there you might hear some cars going by and just let me know if you think it's a little bright. For me it's a little bright but it might be okay for you guys but I couldn't pass up the opportunity to enjoy the good weather here in upstate New York. So if you like what you see, a thumbs up would be great. A subscribe on the way out would be even better so you can see all the fun stuff because this is definitely estate sale season here in upstate New York. So why don't we get started with this awesome, it's called The Paradise, St. John's Smartest Restaurant, and this is in Canada. So for the most part, it is a beautiful, gorgeous, the only tiny little thing was here on the bottom, a little nibble nibble on the bottom, but it's called the Paradise. And talk about beautiful art deco. Isn't that gorgeous? And you could um, have afternoon tea for 35 cents. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And soda fountains, a lemon phosphate, a pineapple phosphate. I've never heard of those, but someone out there might have, right? Oh, it's just the beautiful sandwiches and the seafood and everything. And just the prices are amazing too. And then here's the back. So this was definitely a wonderful collection. This person definitely saved a lot of stuff which is nice for me and for you too right <laughs> so and they even i think saved some things from school times because these are somewhat i think part of an assignment um for like a home ec class maybe so that's the three generations and um this fancy like cottage lady <laughs> it's really cool on the construction paper and then the fashion <laughs> and then they just had a whole, lots of different little strange ephemera things and um, even these little, uh, what do you call those? The zero, one, two, three, four, the punch cards. I thought this was so neat. They had a ton of punch cards. And I don't know if, if you are new to me, I do junk journaling and crafting and I know that it, these would make great tags for a junk journal. So there was some of those and here comes a car. Sorry guys. And they even had things from a concert, a choral concert, 1964. So look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now what's really interesting about this particular estate sale is it is actually was in the neighborhood of where my mom lives because my mom has actually had moved back in to her childhood home. So some of these people, um, my mom knew of these people so some of this stuff is you know gonna stay with my mom because they're you know neighbor well sort of neighbors not like right next door neighbors but you know a few a few miles away so but some of the other ephemera definitely will be passing it along um so we have some cards some happy anniversary cards this one says anniversary greetings and it's this beautiful that rice paper type of paper that crinkly nice rice paper and even the the beautiful um envelope that you you know you could you couldn't de-stress it so nicely right and then these are some pictures of um this is a picture of the burgundy cafe in rochester so that's pretty cool and the it's um december 7th 1963 so awesome how they show the different um, places and then of course we have some wedding photos um clipped out so isn't that cool and nice weather gotta go for a motorcycle ride right so my husband is heading out on the motorcycle don't get the big idea that you're indispensable isn't that cute and then it's got a little little piece of feather right there merely because i can't live without you happy anniversary dear isn't that cute <laughs> and that is dated 1964 so that's so cute 
All right. Then I'm trying to get the things that are not like in books because ta, I have some scrapbooks. Okay, so this is kind of a combination here. So this particular one, now we have just little pieces of ephemera here, you know, some aged paper. And let's see, what's next? I'll go through this stuff. This is a coloring book. So what I'll do is this is how it came. It says, see America first coloring book. Pretty cool, just as a coloring book. And let's see. The other stuff that's inside, let's see, we have primary department promotion certificate from 1933. This is gorgeous. Look at that beautiful details from the 1930s. Isn't it wonderful? Bye-bye, honey. Have a good trip. <laughs> Enjoy the weather, right? Then we have some cutouts. And these are, um, have to do with things in the area, which are Albany. Albany, New York is our capital here in New York. <laughs> so um, this was talking about different places. And these are like little articles pulled out of different local papers. So that's pretty neat. Now the local type stuff, that I will have to let my mom go through first. And then um, we can work on some of the more generic um, ephemera to send out. So this is, um, oh, okay. Okay, here we go. So this is the New York State Capitol in Albany. And this is actually, it still pretty much looks this way now. That is the Capitol building. So hopefully you guys can see this pretty good. Okay, so, but it doesn't say when this clipping was clipped out. But, so, it's really nice. And pretty much, yep, looks the same now as it did. Um, those buildings don't change too much. But a lot of little articles and clippings. Um, the Patroon Trading House. So a lot of interesting items. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm going to let my mom take a look-see first and see what she'd be interested in. And then um, we can go from there. Oh, it's a busy, busy day today. I thought, oh, I'll go outside and be quiet. And you know, I guess not. Everybody else had the same idea to be outside, right? Okay, so now it looks like this family um, was in Colony, New York, which is um, a town in New York, but spent some time in Canada because here is Casa Loma in Toronto. So that's beautiful. And these were cut out. They look like these are cut out from magazines. Now I'm pretty sure, uh, well, maybe I'm not sure, but these are... <laughs> It looked like Niagara Falls, but I really couldn't tell because I've never been there. So these look like cutouts from magazines. And this one does not explain where it's from. So I don't know. <laughs> um, and these are some more cutouts here. Because I can't tell. Well, I can't tell if they're cutouts or photographs. But I think they're from the same area. So these probably are from Canada. Fishing Fleet in the Maritimes. So... They look like black and white photos that have been colorized. So that might very well be uh, Niagara Falls in Canada. All right, let's see what else we have. We have a gray, or his name is Gray Owl feeding a beaver. Okay. Now these in particular, they do, these are creased and um, the Parliament Building in Ottawa. So some of these have creases in them like they've been folded and others don't. So very nice. Winter sports in Canada. So All right. And then Fort Gray no, I'm sorry, Fort Gary in Winnipeg. So very nice, very beautiful pictures, I think. 
And if there's anything that you see here that you want to see a little more of a close up, just leave a, um, you can email me or leave a comment here and then email me at reclaimtreasuresbymary at gmail.com and I can, you know, take some pictures and show them more close up to, for you. Now these are more articles about, now we're back in New York again. <laughs> And it talks about the riverfront of 1830 when Albany was the gateway of Western expansion, Governor Thomas Dugan. And this is a very large clipping, but of course it didn't clip out when it was. So I'll start from the top here. So it's definitely good local history, I think. So very nice. And then, let's see, we have some of the Vanderbilt, the Commodore Vanderbilt train. So look at that. Oof. And then we have some Albany County Farms. So this was have to do with, um, oh my goodness, friends. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, July 19th, 1936. So, wow. This is called the Knickerbocker Press, which was the, um, the, ended up being, so the Knickerbocker Press then turned into what's now the Times Union. So this, these articles are from the 1936. So a lot of different clipping out of, um, different places in Albany. Okay. So let's see. I'm trying to see when it says. Albany County Farms produce yearly um, 1,434, 681 dozens of eggs. Whew. So I'm not sure if that was from the 30s or from the 1800s. So it's a little, <laughs> ah, little confusing there, but that's okay. And here's more. Um, New Yorkers are proud of their state. 1936. I'm thinking back back in the day, they were proud. Yes. Um, the, nowadays, mm, I'll just leave it there. Mm. <laughs> okay, so this one is also, this is copyright 1903 by Glens Falls Insurance Company. So. Turn this around here. Beautiful color photo. And, all right. And then we have some other little clippings. Let's see, this is a model of the famous old DeWitt Clinton. Um, I think it's another train. You'd think, even out here in the country, this is a busy road. <laughs> All right, now this, let's see, what is this one? So this is kind of a couple different things. Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in the nation. Now, we call it RPI here in New York. And this one, I'm almost pretty darn 99% sure that my mothers want to keep this because what I'll show you is this does talk about um, the Institute of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. And my grandfather was a physics professor at RPI, as we call it. So this one I'm thinking will stay in the family at least a little bit longer. So talks about, it's a wonderful technology and um, engineering and all sorts of wonderful physics, chemistry, biology. It is a wonderful um, college that is still running today. And then they even have some other nice pictures on the back. Um, Yankee Doodle. <laughs> And then this one, let's see. Um, well, let's continue on. Um, <laughs> unbeknownst to me, my camera decided to shut off. So hopefully we'll get a little more through this book and maybe it's telling us we need a part two, maybe even a part three. All right, so in that book, we were still going along there. Some different things about Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, known as RPI. Then it showed some other ones of state Street, um, Pearl Street. So if I showed you these, I'm sorry, but we'll try to go through these kind of quick. 
beautiful things that show you of the different areas in Albany back, way back. <laughs> this is a beautiful picture of um, the Capitol or the City Hall building, which is actually still there. Um, and it looks, it almost looks exactly the same except for the cars at the bottom. So wonderful things. And then Keeler's, it's a, a straight street, Albany landmark of true hospitality. It was an oyster and um, chop house. So I'm not sure if they mean pork chops or steak chops or what, but beautiful uh, articles on that. And then they show um, a few other ones. Let's see, State Street Hill. So beautiful, uh, showing all the beautiful things at this one area of Albany. Then we have our little artiste, the woman of the house. Um, we had, she did the North America. So on the beautiful construction paper, it looked like she did some drawings of animals. And then the Treaty of Paris. So pretty interesting about the different things on, um, let's see, we have this Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. So that's pretty neat. So, and an artist to boot, look at this. And um, beautiful grade six, she made a, a tree. So beautiful work. And I think it's either crayon or um, pastels and washing teeth, right? <laughs> and then had to do some, um, you know, reconstruction of the idea. Didn't quite like that. I think this was a turkey, a scene about a turkey. <laughs> So really interesting um, photos there and even some scraps. So she must not have liked that one. And then this one was really a cool piece that I found inside. It was like a, um, a typed reference sheet, but she, they used um, the transfer, the charcoal or whatever that's called, that paper, and did some of these. So that's a pretty neat idea too. So truly an art artist and... Um, inventive young woman <laughs> and then we, this is the first see america first the coloring book so this is what i was trying to get to that all those papers were inside and this is copyright 1934 so it's seeing america but also it's a coloring book so she did some colors in there and um bears in the park and so many neat things and it is coming apart, but overall it's in pretty nice condition. And the back, which I thought was kind of neat, it says places I should visit and places I've seen. So isn't that cool? And that's just a number of some of the things here. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna end this video here and check back for part two because we have only scratched the surface on this wonderful estate sale. So. See you back in a little bit. Bye. Have a great day. Thumbs up, subscribe, and come back and see all the greatness that we're going to have. And sometimes I have sales, live sales right here on YouTube at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sundays, most Sundays. And some of these things will be coming up and some of my live sales coming up. So stay tuned and check social media, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I, all those reclaimed treasures by Mary. So bye.